level type properties. Here I'm going to select on a level and then over here I have my level type which is a level quarter inch head. If I click on edit type I will get to my level type properties and here I have a list of my level types. So I have an elevation base which describes where my base elevation is with respect to the project or perhaps a shared origin. And if we have a survey point that surveyors went and found, we will actually use it. So here are my level type properties. Uh, my line weight, it's what thickness of the line weight do we want. Uh, so we can pick a line weight number. We can choose our color, uh, what color we like. Uh, you know, typically this is black for black and white construction documents. We have a line pattern and we can set the, the different types of line patterns uh, that we want and uh, if I go back over here so I go to line pattern here and uh, it's got grid line half inch okay so I can go hit go with the hiddens or grid lines typically we use these hiddens when it is uh, under underneath the the, the, uh, the ground when it's underneath grade level, we'll use hidden lines. And then we have the symbol. Uh, the symbol, we can have the different types of symbols uh, that we can choose, uh, whether it has no bubble or a head, uh, no, uh, the circle or, or none at all. And then the symbol, if it's on each end, um, typically the number two is on the right side, so that's the default, but some people put it on both left and right. So we can set our level type properties by selecting on a particular level, finding out the particular level type, and going to edit the level type properties, and we can change them. Remember, anytime we change a, a type property, we always want to rename it, uh, make a duplicate, and then rename it. Never change the original.